Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm going to show you how to make churro funnel cakes. Since this is a new favorite popular treat at Disneyland, I decided I needed to teach you guys how to make this one at home. You'll need some whipped cream and I like to make mine with two cups of whipped cream and half a cup of powdered sugar. Then you just whip this until it's nice and fluffy. All right, you want those stiff peaks to form. I'm gonna let the beater and pop this in the fridge until our funnel cakes are ready. Pour enough vegetable oil into a large heavy skillet in order to cover it with about an inch of oil. You wanna get this heating to 350 degrees. While the oil is heating, we're going to make our dough for our churro funnel cakes. And this is actually done right here on the stove. You need half a cup of butter, a cup of water, a teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Let this heat over medium high heat until the butter melts completely and the mixture begins to simmer. All right, at this point, remove it from the heat and use a wooden spoon to stir in a cup of flour. Now I have three eggs that I'm gonna drop in one at a time and mix in. Once it's completely mixed in, put in the next one and keep going until you've used all three eggs. At this point, you should have a really thick dough. Transfer this to a pastry piping bag. It helps if you put the bag into a cup so you have something to hold the bag while you're filling it. Make sure you're using a large star-shaped tip for this. It makes the prettiest churro funnel cake. We have one last thing to do before we start frying and that's get our cinnamon sugar ready. I have a cup of sugar here in my bowl. Make sure you're using a bowl that you can put your funnel cake directly down into it. Then add in a teaspoon of cinnamon and just stir it together. Double check that the oil is 350 degrees and we are ready to fry. Squeeze your dough directly into the oil using a circular motion. You wanna swirl this all the way around. Pinch off the end. Once it's golden brown on both sides, remove it from the oil and put it on a paper towel lined plate. Let this drain for about 60 seconds just to get kind of most of the oil off. And then put it directly into your cinnamon sugar mixture to coat. Serve it up Disneyland style with a scoop of that whipped cream and drizzle it with caramel syrup. This is seriously so delicious. Get the recipe in the video description. Give this video a quick thumbs up to let me know you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more awesome recipes. See you later.